Hello, dear children, and welcome to the mathematics class for class one. Today, we will be studying chapter nine, numbers up to 99. So, so far, we have studied single digit and two digit numbers. Now, today, we will study about numbers up to 99. So, to begin with, let us look at what we are going to learn after going through this lesson, all right? First one, we will recognize numbers up to 99, all right? Also, <clears throat> we will rec recall the value, uh, place value concept. The next is you will be recognize this number before, between, and after, compares numbers, all right? So these are the things that we will try to achieve through this lesson. Now, to begin with, we will start with the first example. Here, we have a picture in front of us. Now, let us look at the first blue strip. The blue strip represents one tenth, okay? So, in the first column, in, uh, sorry, in the first row, we have a blue strip. So, this represents one tenth, okay? One tenth. So, it becomes one zero, which is tenth, all right? In the second column, we have one, two, two blue strips. So we can write it as two tens. And since we don't have any representation for ones, we will consider it to be zero. Okay? So two tens, zero ones is equal to 20. Okay, children? Now let us look at the second row. One blue strip, two blue strip, three blue strip. This means three tenths. And since there's no ones here, we will consider it as zero ones. So when you combine three and zero, you get 30. Similarly, four blue strips. So four tenths, zero ones. Uh, <coughs> together, they are, <coughs> sorry, together, when we combine, we get Four zero forty. All right, children. Now, in the same way, in the next row we have five blue strips. Okay, so we will call it as five tens, zero ones. So when you combine five and zero, you get fifty. All right, children. <clears throat> now, in the next row we have again six blue strips here. So six blue strips indicates six tenths and zero ones. There's no ones over here. So we are going to call it as zero ones, okay? So when you combine six and zero together, you get 60. Next, we have seven tenths, zero ones, which is equal to <coughs> 70. All right, children, similarly, if you count these blue strips here, you will find that there are eight blue strips. So you will see that eight tens, zero ones, and when you combine, you get 80. Okay, children? And finally, we have nine blue strips over here. Okay, nine. So we will call it as nine tens <clears throat> and zero ones. If you combine nine and zero, you will get 90. All right, children, so let's look at these numbers. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. So these are the numbers that we are going to learn about in this lesson. Let us look at the next picture. <clears throat> we will go through this example. Here we have one blue strip. This blue strip represents one tenth, okay? And this red strip, one red strip represents one once. All right, children? So by looking at this picture, we will try to write the numbers corresponding to these pictures, okay? So let's look at the first one. One blue strip. One blue strip is equal to one tenth, right? And here we have one, two, Two red strips. So we will call it as two ones. All right, children? 
So together when we combine 1, 2, we get 12. All right. So <clears throat> let's look at the next example. Here we see two blue strips. 1, 2. So we can write this as 2 tenths. Okay. And in the next column, we see 1, 2, 3, 4. Four red strips. So these four red strips will be represented as four ones. All right, children. So if you look at the numbers here, two and four, if you combine these two, you get 24. All right, children. Similarly, one, two, three, three blue strips. So we will call it as three tens. And in the next column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight red strips. So we will call it as eight ones. So if you put together three and eight, you get 38. All right, children. Similarly, the other examples, four tens, three ones. When you combine these two, you get 43. In the next row, we have five tens, six ones. So we can say that this number is 56. Similarly, here, six tens, meaning six blue strips, and <clears throat> five ones, that means five red strips. So when you combine, you get 65. All right, children. Similarly, seven tens, one ones is equal to 71. Eight tens, six ones is equal to 86. Nine tens, nine ones is equal to nine, nine. That is 99. All right, children. So if you look at these numbers, all these numbers are two digits. Okay, children. So let's look at the first number, one, two. That is 12. So the place value of 12, 2 is 1's, okay? We call it 1's. And the place value of 1 is called 10's, all right? As explained earlier, the 1's place is always on the right and the 10's place is always on the left, all right, children? Now, let us <coughs> try to solve some uh, exercises. So let's solve this together. Fill in the boxes. So let's look at this. The blue strips represent tens. The white strip, uh, sorry, the red strip represents ones, okay? So in the first example that is solved, we can see that there are three blue strips. That's why we're writing in tens place, three. And we see two red strips. So we're writing in ones place, two. <clears throat> so together, we call it as 32. Here, we can see one, two two blue strips. So this is two and in the red uh, the red strips we can see six of them. So we will call this number as two six that is 26. Okay children. Similarly we can see only blue strips here. No red strips right. <clears throat> so we, let's count the blue strips. One, two, three, four, five and six. So we have six blue strips and zero ones. So the zero will come here together. This will be called as 60. Okay, children? In the same way, we will solve this as 45. The next row, we, when we solve, you'll find that it is 82. You can try this at home. The next one is equal to 73. And the last one, we have two blue strips. And let's count the red strips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have two blue strips and <clears throat> nine red strips. That is equal to 29, okay? Two is in tens place, nine is in ones place. So we will call it as 29, all right, children? Now, Let's look at the same examples with different numbers. Here we have four blue strips and six red strips. So we will call it as 46. Similarly, 34. Next is 61. 
Next, if you count these blue and red strips, you will get 55. Here, you get 28. Here, you will get 53. Here, in the last <coughs> row, you will get 35. Now, if you want to try this at home, please look, refer to the textbooks that you have in the exercise section. You'll find all these questions. So please try it at home. All right, children? Now, these are the numbers that we are going to learn about in this, less, uh, in this chapter. The number starts from 1 till 10, 10, then 11, then 20, 21, till 30. So it'll go on like that till we reach the number 29. Now please look here, from 1 to 9, you have only one digit number, okay? And after 9, till you reach 99, there are two digit numbers, okay? Two digit means two numerals, they form a number, a single number, okay? Two numerals means, for example, you take 10. 1, 0. So, 1 is one numeral, 0 is another numeral. You bring these two together, you join them, you get two numerals together. So, you call it as two digits, all right? Similarly, for 99, 9 is one numeral. Again, 9 is another numeral. So, you have two numerals here. So, these are called two-digit numbers, all right, children? So, let's try... <coughs> Try out the exercise here, fill in the blanks. So we have blanks here, blanks given before tens and ones. We are supposed to fill them up, okay, by looking at the number given in front of it, all right? So we have the number here, 36. Now, as we have already been learning, 6 is in ones place, 3 is in tens place. Yes, very good. Now. Let's write this. In tens place, we will write three. In six place, uh, sorry, in ones place, we will write six. So three and six together, they form 36. Similarly, two we will write as tens and five in ones. Okay, so two and five together, 25. The next example, three tens and zero ones, okay? Zero is given here, so we will write zero ones, okay, children? Similarly, four tens and seven ones, all right? So this is how you will fill up the blanks for the numbers given uh, to match with the tens and ones, all right? This is all about place values. Now, in the previous classes, we have also learned about counting numbers, right? So, if you know how to count numbers, it'll be very easy to, for you to solve this type of exercises. So, here the question is, write the number before and after, all right? So, before and after. The column is given for before and after. In the middle column, we see 14, 43, 31, 44. So let's solve these numbers one by one, all right? So when you look at 14, you, if you do not know what lies before it, let's start counting from 11, all right? Let's start counting together. 11, 12, 13, 14, all right? So just before you reached 14, you counted 13, okay? 13, 14, and to fill this, the next number is 15. So, you can count like this, 13, 14, 15. All right, children? So, for 43, for 43, you start counting from 41, all right? 41, 42, and 43. Just before reaching 43, you counted 42, right? So, 42... 43 and 44. So the number before 43 is 42. The number after 43 is 44. All right. Let's look at another example. Before 31, we have 30. Okay. So we can read like this. 30, 31. And after 31 comes 
32. So we can say that the number before 31 is 30. The number after 31 is 32. Okay, children? Now, in the same way, you can solve this particular row. So this will be read as 43, 44, 45. All right, children? Now, let's look at the, an, another exercise. Here we have circle the bigger number, the bigger or the greater. The bigger doesn't mean the size, the bigger means its value, okay? So let's look at some examples. We have 37 and 38. Now, if you look at these two, compare these two number, which number is bigger? 38, right? So we will put a circle on the bigger number. Similarly, 43 and 24, we will circle 43 because 43 is the bigger number, right? In the same way, 14 and 41. 41 is bigger, so we will circle it. And 27 and 19, 27 is bigger, so we will circle this, all right? Similarly, the next question is circle the smaller number. So we will <coughs> look at the numbers 30 and 10. 10 is the smaller number, so we will circle it. 50 and 15. 15 is the smaller one, so we will circle it. Similarly, 47 and 24. 24 is the smaller one, so we put a circle around it. 31, 29. 29 is the smaller number, so we will circle it. Okay, children? Now, let's learn how to arrange from smallest to biggest. That means ascending order. We have already learned about it. Let's look at these numbers here, 48, 27, 13, 36. Now, 48 is the biggest number here. So the smallest number is, yes, 13. So we will write 13 first. Next will be 27. Next will be 36. And finally, 48, okay? So you can see that the numbers have been arranged from smallest to biggest. In the same way, this number is given here. We will put 13 first, next 28, next will be 37, and finally 43. So this is how you arrange from smallest to biggest. All right, children? Now, similarly, you will solve this exercise from smallest to biggest. And now from the biggest to smallest. If you check these numbers here, you will see that 49 is the biggest. So we have 49 here. The next biggest number is 38. So we will put 38 here. The next biggest number is 12. So we'll put 12 here and 9. So you have arranged from biggest to smallest. All right, children? So this is all about the numbers that we have come across from single digit to two-digit numbers, all right? So children, please practice the exercises that is given in your textbook. Refer to this video for uh, if there are any confusions. And I hope that you will continue to study hard and we will see each other again very soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.